PS3 version turned out bad. The Xbox 360 version turned out bad. But the Wii version turned out to be the worst. This is MLB 2K8 for the Nintendo Wii. And this game is known for its bad graphics and okay gameplay, but the graphics are horrible. But it's going to get really bad once we get into the regular gameplay. So Check it yeah, out. I know I'm reviewing a 2007 game, but I'm just going to show you why this game is bad. It uses the nunchuck and the fredster, that's me. So let's play ball. Unless, maybe we should go to the settings first. So here you can check out how to change the starting inning, the half inning, number of outs, home score, road score, home bag more. But I don't really care about that. So we're just going to do play ball. And so we're going to choose which team I want. Okay, so the nunchuck selects the t teams. At first, I thought you would do the D pad. Now, I honestly do not know what to choose. But just for the, t just as a World Series 2004 reference, it's going to be Cardinals versus Red Sox. Let's play ball. Now you will see that the graphics look like crap. I mean, just look at it. Well, they could be okay for 2007, but I just don't see them appealing enough. And what is going on here? Let's just go to the gameplay. 30 tokens, 30 tokens. They're just like challenges, probably to unlock something. I don't know. I'm just going to play a couple of innings for you. And... And you press B and A, I think. I really do not know how it works. I, I believe you hold B and you shake the Wii remote. I'm not really good at these kind of games. I don't even know what I'm doing. There's got to be some way to do this. So... You switch between the bases you throw the ball at by pushing the D-pad. Now this one should be easy. And out. So you press up for second base, down for home, left for third, and right for first. So the inning's already over. That's nice to know. Well, actually no, it's the first out. <laughs> Forgive me on that. And you gotta be completely accurate, otherwise it doesn't work for the th for the fiction. It just barely got out. Good job, Ellsbury. And just look at their faces. What happened? This doesn't look anything like 2007 gaming. The PS3 and Xbox versions of this game were bad. But this one looks even less appealing. And look at that. The voices are pretty appealing now. Let's just look at that. That is a homer, all right. Yes, it is. So, two outs. I'm just going to do this one last pitch because I've had enough of this. And actually, let's do one more. Alright, you swing the bat by, of course, swinging the Wii remote. At that time, I was a bit early. You can aim what direction and hit the ball in by, by fidgeting around with the nunchuck. The way you aim your nunchuck depends on which direction you aim the ball. 
It could be a little cheesy at first, but it's good getting used to. The control of this game really isn't that bad, but it's a little confusing that you use both the nunchuck and stuff to do that. Now, I just got... I got three strikes. I'm just terrible at these kind of games. I'm just more used to aiming by just pushing it forward than just swinging it like a normal bat. I don't know what it is, but I just find it easier to do that. And here you see, like, the Cardinals' defense. Yeah, I totally realize we're, we're at Fenway Park. I remember going here when I was in... I remember going here like five years ago. It was pretty fun. I've been here twice. I had a lot of fun going to this field. And darn, and out. So, you know what? The gameplay isn't bad, but... I just find that I just don't find the graphics to be appealing at all. These graphics aren't aren't really expected as well as I used to. Now I should just keep in mind that this game was actually this game was actually made in 2008, but I think it's based on the 2007 season. I'm not really sure. <laughs> now there you just saw something going on at second base. Darn, I swung early. I might get MLB 2K11 because... or 2K12 because that's the earliest game. I'm not really sure which one's the earliest, but... I'll get one of those. So once again, the control is a little cheesy to get used to, but it gets easy once you once you get it down. Like you see, I don't really have it down. I don't really play this game as much. Now, so I should just. So, time for my summary. Time for me to rate everything. First, I should rate the control. The control, I give a 7 out of 10. I mean, sure, like I said a couple of times, the game, the control is pretty cheesy, but it sure isn't that bad to get used to. Like, for Mario Kart, for Mario Kart Wii, I'm a I'm like a legend at that game, by the way. I didn't really like the idea that you use bull. I didn't really like the idea of using two controllers in your two hands. But I, but now I find it to be the best control ever invented. The graphics I give a three out of ten. And one thing I've actually noticed is that Dustin Pedroia on the Red Sox. His number always changes to like a three digit number or some other number, but it just doesn't his right number. And there was this guy in the Yankees that my friend told me about. His number always changes. Or I don't know what it is, but there was some guy that changed on the Yankees or some other team where the number always changes. So, the graphics I give a 3, the game, the control I give a 7, and now the difficulty, I give it a 5 out of 10. I mean, the game really isn't that difficult, if you know what I mean. But, the first time playing it, you will be a little stunned that you have to use both the nunchuck and the Wii Remote to do this kind of stuff. And the control kind of affects the difficulty a little bit. So, I'm going to sum up the total. So overall, I give this game a total rating 
I give a 5 out of 10. Because I actually didn't pick this game to buy. My, I actually got this game as a gift. And this game really isn't that bad. However, what really narrows it down is the graphics. The graphics really downgrade the rating that I gave to this game. And they're all... So yeah, it gave... It dropped the rating down. If the graphics were actually a little better, that would actually upgrade the rating. It was okay for its time, but today it really isn't anything special, especially when there are even newer editions of the MLB 2K Sports Series. And there are some ads on the back of the manual for games such as MLB Power Pros and the Bigs. MLB Power Pros is developed by Konami, and, new, and for the new year I'm actually going to be doing some Konami games, so hold out for that one. And these games are going to be good games. I promise you. So, until then, see you next time.